process of the design of our final envelope. The original design was Talia's from Assessment 2. This is a wireframe and rendered version of it. It's designed to harness the wind and redirected in a way that's more comfortable for those in and around the structure. Our precedences are Lyft in Portland, Oregon. The City of Dreams Living Pavilion by Figment in 2010. Curvaceous Wood Bending by Matthias Pleisnig. David Trubrig's Furniture and Lighting Designs. The Steam Series Furniture by Bayser Hewa. This Pavilion by Bagos Escudero. Our process is as follows. We started with this structure imitating some of our precedences. We then moved to incorporate that into the pavilion-like structure that um, Talia's design had. You can see it growing as in the process more wooden beams are added. So this is the seating at the front of the structure. Next we can see the we can now see the addition of the wooden beams at the rear of the structure. These will hold some plants and greenery, which will help to block the noise and sort of provide more privacy to the park area at the front. This is our final design, the Rhino model of it. So we can see the context. We can see it situated around the sculpture. The design will be constructed using the technique of wood bending using steam to soften the fibres of the wood so that it can be bent into the desired form for our design. We can now see a fly through of the rendered model thanks to twin motion. So we've got the broader context of Newcastle, and see the ships in the harbour which will, is a key feature of our design that you'll be able to sit there and watch the shipping go past. Um, basically watch a view of the whole harbour. So obviously in front of the site we've got this large walkway which gets a lot of foot traffic. There is a pre-existing pathway which will lead almost to the sculpture, leading a lot of people to either view the sculpture or be invited to sit and relax. So we get a nice look at the view that is offered from the sculpture. Yep, so you can see plenty of grass area. It's we want to add to the environment that's already there. So already the grass area is well used. We're providing a reason for people to sit and stop and enjoy their surroundings here. The greenery at the rear of the structure is a big feature of our design. We wanted it to blend in from the view from the road. So. Yeah, when looking at it from the road, it doesn't. It's not a big confronting structure. It's quite. It blends into the existing landscape. Adds something else to what is already existing here. We have some sun studies which show how the structure best makes use of the available sunlight at different times of the year. So October, when some sunlight is good, but not too much. Only during the middle of the day there is a little bit of sunlight, but a lot of the structure is in shade for a lot of the day. During July, which is one of the coldest months of the year, the structure is bathed in full sunlight for most of the day. Being one of the coldest months of the year, people want to sit out in the warm sun and warm up. And then during December, one of the hottest months of the year, when you don't People want to avoid the sunlight, so the shelter will be providing shade during this time of year. You can see only for a very small part of the day is one section of the seating bathed in any sunlight at all.